Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago discussion video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why exactly we should probably be giving up on the whole aspect of the Time Twins ever returning in Ninjago again, and again, why we probably shouldn't hold out hope. So a lot of people want the Time Twins back, that's definitely not something that's a secret. A lot of Ninjago fans really want the Time Twins back, and they want to know what happened to them, where'd they go, and I kind of want to know as well. I mean, we did see the effects of the Time Twins happening throughout seasons 8, 9, and 10, with Master Wu suddenly growing back into his, I guess, sensei or master counterpart. So we've still seen their effects, I guess, rattle Ninjago for several, I guess, seasons past their initial debut, but it still doesn't mean that we saw them. Like, where did they actually go? Of course, a lot of that really isn't explained, and after season seven, there wasn't really too much going on with that. Uh, master Wu kind of, I guess, trapped them in a time vortex, and we don't really know what happened. Master Wu popped up somehow, but the Time Twins never did, and a lot of people want to know what happened, and I'm quite curious about that myself, but I don't really consider the Time Twins to be that great of an actual antagonist force in Ninjago. Again, they're still fine villains, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel like they should, I guess, be given an option to come back unless they're going to be drastically improved from how they were in their actual debut season. In case you guys don't remember, in Season 7, the Time Twins really weren't, I guess, the most, I guess, evil-type villains out there. There are definitely villains in Ninjago that were shining above them at the time, and they were a little bit over the top and a little bit ridiculous. Not really my cup of tea, but they were still not bad villains, and I still would like to know what happened to them. Unfortunately, though, uh, Ninjago has greatly moved past that, and here's why we should probably give up all hope of seeing them again. Ninjago seems to be going in a different kind of direction, and I'm not really sure the actual direction that it's going is open to having villains come back. I mean, if not even Garmadon is allowed to come back after he survived the events of Season 10, then I don't know, you know, where we're going to find room to actually put the Time Twins in there, especially considering how, again, the series is moving on beyond that. They're trying to incorporate new villains with new identities and new antagonistic forces for the ninja, and overall it really doesn't seem likely to actually have them come back. Again, I would like to see them back, but it's probably not going to happen, guys. Unfortunately, no matter how many people want the Time Twins back, Ninjago doesn't seem to be going ahead and focusing on that, instead opting to move on to newer things and newer villains. Of course, they could always come back in the future through some means. I'm sure if they wanted to bring them back, they could, but I really don't see that happening anytime soon. And with that being said, that'll just about do it for my thoughts on this subject, but let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. Do you feel like the Time Twins could come back in the future sometime, or do you just feel like they're just done and out of Ninjago forever? Leave all your thoughts down below regarding that. I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With all that being said, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout-out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including the Marvelous Jan. Thank you so much for pledging to the $10 tier. As such, you'll receive a spoken shout-out and a written shout-out at the end of every video, plus additional early access content on the Patreon page from time to time. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.